I wore this uniform today to pay respects to an amazing trooper, but I would like to speak about my fiance, Amanda. For Mother's Day this year, Amanda gave me my orders. She said there were a few things she would really love to have. One of them being an apron. Something like that was not an unusual request for Amanda. She didn't want anything expensive or fancy, but I was still convinced it was a trick. I said, would you like a vacuum cleaner with that as well? But uh, I, I, needless to say, I did what I was told. When Mother's Day came around, she opened her gifts, and she was ecstatic. I was positive she was ecstatic because of the apron, but it could have been from how happy she was that I actually listened to her. I wanted to share this with you today because Amanda found joy in everything, big or small, and she brought that joy into our lives every day. Amanda was also everything to me and our family. We needed a training partner for whatever crazy paddle boat race we were doing next, she was right there. When I fell off my bike, she tended my wounds. She sang to our children and let them know how special they were every chance she got. She could go from her uniform to a dress in the blink of an eye and be the prettiest date a man could ever hope for. She was something to everyone and always what we needed exactly when we needed it. She was a partner, mother, daughter, friend, athlete, New York State trooper, Iron Man, and so much more. I wanted to share this with you because Amanda defined who she was every day, and every day she grew. Amanda became a more amazing person every day of her life, but she never let any of us go. She would hold our hands and help us be better than we were yesterday. Whether it was homework or remodeling, gardening or dancing, music or sports. She enjoyed so much making us all successful in all of our endeavors. She gave me the support to do what I never believed I could. If it was a race, she was the next point cheering me on. If it was a funeral, she would be standing by me giving me the strength to do something, the hardest thing that I've ever had to do in my life. I share this with you because Amanda wasn't content with just being great. She had to be great and bring us all along for the ride. Amanda had a word she used more than any other word. It described her life, our life, and what she was for everyone she touched. Amazing. I wanted to leave you with a thought that a close family friend of ours gave us. She gave to me personally to help me through this. Amanda loved to sail and I'm positive this is what she would want us to hear. What is dying? I am standing upon that foreshore. A ship at my side spreads her white sails to the morning breeze and starts for the blue ocean. She is an object of beauty and strength, and I stand and watch her until at length she hangs like a speck of white cloud, just where the sea and sky come down to mingle with each other. Then someone at my side says, there, she's gone. Gone where? Gone from my sight, that is all. She is just as large and masked and spar and hull as ever she was when she left my side. Just as able to bear her load of living freight to the place of destination. Her diminished size is in me, not in her. And just at the moment when someone on my side says, there, she's gone. There are other eyes watching her coming and other voices ready to take up glad shout here she comes. That is what dying is.